My name is Scott Thorpe. I'm a registered patent attorney, and I'm going to be explaining how there can be so many patents that are directed to very similar inventions. Most people, when they first become acquainted with the patent system, are struck by the fact that so many patents are directed to very similar inventions. You can find numerous patents that are very, very similar to one another. And they wonder, well, how can this be if patents are supposed to protect new and novel and unique inventions? Well, the answer is that our patent system, very rightly so, allows the protection of incremental inventions. And because of this, there can be numerous patents that are directed to very similar inventions. And this aspect of the patent system is extremely useful and extremely fair. Let me give an example about how patents for incremental improvements work. Imagine an inventor comes up with a great idea, a new widget, and this widget is useful and it, as a result he's able to get a patent on the new widget and he's able to make money from it, either by selling it himself or by licensing it to someone else. And this is why we have a patent system. It encourages innovation by encouraging people to come up with new and innovative ideas by assuring that if they do, they're able to profit from them. If there wasn't a patent system, the inventor of this new widget might see his idea stolen by other people and might not make any money from it. And this often happens when inventors don't get patents. But let's imagine that another inventor comes along and she looks at the invention and says, I can make that much better. I can improve the, that original widget and make an improved widget by adding a new part or a new feature. And she does so and she also applies for a patent and is granted a patent for the improved widget. Well now we have two patents for two different inventions, the original widget and the improved widget, and both inventors have patents. So you're probably wondering, well, how do these patents work since they both cover essentially the same widget? The answer is that both inventors have the right to prevent other people from practicing what they have innovated. The original inventor can stop people from making the widget. The second inventor can stop people from making her improved widget. And in practice, this allows the original inventor to make or license people, other people to make his widget, but he can't make the improved widget without taking a license from the second inventor. If this is the product that people want, if the improved widget is what people want, the, in, the original inventor probably will license the improvement from the new inventor, and as a result, the second inventor is compensated for her innovation. The second inventor can, is compensated, as I mentioned, but she has no rights to make the original widget. So she, she can't take the idea of the original inventor and practice it with, unless she gets a license from that inventor. So as a result, even though she's come up with an improvement, the original inventor will still be compensated for his innovation and his genius because no one can practice that unless they get a license to that particular invention. As a result, both inventors are protected. Both inventors are compensated for their innovations even though they're both directed to very similar widgets. This is very fair and encourages all inventors to both come up with new inventions and also come up with improvements to existing inventions because all have the opportunity to fairly profit from their innovation. If you have any questions about protecting an incremental innovation to an existing invention or about patents that cover similar subject matter, please contact me at my website or feel free to give me a call. Thank you.